Nice job. All right, guys, today I'm going to talk about what you just saw there, and that is the puck chop. Um, so this one's pretty easy to do. All you do is hold R1, um, get within about stick's length of the puck, and then tap with the right stick in whichever direction you want the puck to go. So here I tap forward, here I tap to the left. Any direction that you can point the right stick, um, you can hit the puck to with the puck chop. Um, you got to be careful if you're standing just like right on top of it. Sometimes you'll miss. Um, if you're not close enough to it, obviously you're going to whiff. So here's a couple instances in game. Um, and I'll show you uh, several different ways in which this move can be used and uh, which scenarios it's good to use it in um, because there's definitely a lot of them. Here, uh, the other team dumped the puck in behind the boards and they've got that four checker in close on the D-man. So he could just skate and pick it up and try and pass it, but there's a good chance that when he picks this puck up, he's going to get hit and lose the puck. So, yeah, it's me. I puck chop it over to King. I very easily could have gone the other way to the right winger. Um, so my wingers did a good job of giving me support here. Um, so I had a couple different options. And as you can see... The four checker misses the puck. He wasn't ready for that, and we're able to break the puck out nice and quick. Here again on the dump in, yellow, he sees that guy breathing down his neck. He knows there's a chance he's not going to maintain control of the puck if he tries to just grab it and make a pass. So same idea on the breakout. Here, I think Rob probably could have just collected the puck and made a pass. Um, I think he was anticipating the defenseman to pinch in and try and hit him and take the puck, which honestly he probably should have done. But here he uses it to make a breakout pass, and this almost acts as, as like a saucer pass, really. And that's a beautiful uh, little puck chop there that resulted in a goal. Here, <clears throat> kind of a 50-50 puck. I'm going to beat this guy to the puck, but once again, there's a good chance I'm going to get crushed if I collect the puck and I won't have enough time to make the pass that I want. So here... I puck chop it over to King, and this could be a risky play. If there's someone in that lane and they pick it off, it could be a really dangerous play. Um, but I felt pretty confident about making this puck chop here. And several good things happen here because of the puck chop. One, the defenseman misses the hit because he wasn't anticipating the puck chop. And I'm able to keep going and join the play. So we've got a two-on-one because of that puck chop. Um, not that King needed my help at all. Um, here's another one. I don't have a great angle of this, but this was a 50-50 puck. I think me and this defenseman were going to get to this puck at about the same time. And I had two guys over on the right side, so I figured one of them was going to get it if I just puck chopped it over, which ended up happening, and we got a goal out of that. Uh, let's see. Here, uh, <laughs> you do not see this one a lot. I'm able to uh, use the puck chop to save a goal, actually. This one's sitting on the goal line, and I just swat it. Uh, if not for the puck shot there, that is a goal. Um, and here is another great usage for the puck chop um, that I see a lot of good players using. A lot of people, uh, myself included, like to use the dump pass to get breakaways and one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Um, and you can use the puck chop to just kind of swat that away. So there, that had a good chance of being a shorthanded breakaway, which we really don't want. And I just timed it right as the puck landed. I swatted it out of the way and uh, diffused that situation there. Um, here, this is just kind of a fancy thing that I've been trying to pull off for years. I actually did end up getting a kind of lucky goal off this. I like to dump the puck down ice, uh, across the ice, and then swat the puck out of midair off the boards to myself. And that kind of messed up that defenseman's timing. I was able to get by him and score. Um, and here is a pretty ridiculous goal by Rob. Um, so he's able to swat this one out of midair. And he's not going to get this puck if he doesn't puck chop it. The defenseman has him beat to the puck. So why not just try and chop it, throw the defenseman off, and here he's actually able to snipe the water bottle uh, against the goalie. Another interesting thing about the puck chop is uh, 
you could chop it from your zone into your opponent's zone and it'll never be called icing. So that's just another interesting thing. Uh, this, this one kind of miraculously went into the empty net here. Um, but even if it didn't, that would not have been called icing. That's just kind of the nature of the puck chop. Um, another one of my favorite uses of the puck chop is using it off the tie-up, off the face-off. So this can act as kind of a dump in. This is my favorite spot to use it uh, in the neutral zone, kind of on your opponent's side. Because um, a lot of times the tie up, it can be kind of hard to pick the puck up. So this kind of counteracts that. You can just chop it and there's you won't have any trouble with it. It acts as kind of a dump in here. King got kind of a king magic uh, miracle goal. Uh, it's obviously best case scenario, but we use this all the time uh, on my team. And it's super useful. A lot of times you'll catch the defenseman kind of flat-footed and they aren't ready for it. Um, and another interesting thing is if you have two computer defensemen, this is a glitch that uh, very few people seem to know about. If you have the two computer defensemen there off the face-off, if you chop it, they'll freeze. And uh, I, I'm going to leave a link to a video in my description uh, from my old channel of us doing just that. Kind of cheap, but I mean... EA's fault really. So anyway guys that's the puck chop. Uh, sorry I realize this was not really a quick video but there's just so many different things you can do with the puck chop and I really wanted to cover absolutely everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one.